the buck stops here. The governor has the ultimate responsibility. And when you read that there were staff inside his office, the staff inside the pardon pro offices that knew he was ineligible to be commuted and released, wow. An Oklahoma County grand jury concluded that there was an error kept secret in the notorious commutation of Lawrence Anderson, a man who confessed to eating a murder victim's heart after he was released from prison on drug crimes. Anderson had applied for commutation in January of 2019 but was denied. The board rules state that you must wait three years before reapplying. Anderson reapplied just seven months later, ultimately gaining his freedom and going on to allegedly murder three people. Three people are dead because of it. That's a mistake in the governor's office and the pro and the pardon and pro board office. The report also says that board members met as a group with the governor of Oklahoma before their appointment and taking office at which time decisions were made about upcoming votes. Flashpoint commentator Todd Lamb says there should not be that level of influence from the governor. The governor is so busy doing all the things a governor has to do, a man or woman, Democrat or Republican, it's, it's not wise for the governor to interject himself in this case. The governor's office says Kevin Stitt could not speak to News 4 because of a basketball game scheduled with Education Secretary Ryan Walters. But in a statement, spokesman Charlie Hanema says the grand jury process was a sham from the beginning, adding this was little more than an outgoing prosecutor's latest abuse of the public's trust to target his opponents. Lamb disagrees with the claim that District Attorney David Prater had any agenda against the governor. He says the grand jury was made up of Oklahomans with plenty of resources. Citizens, citizens made this statement about grossly improper. Now, once again, despite the harsh criticism in this final report, it does not include new indictments. Uh, late this afternoon, we heard from D.A. David Prater, who defends the grand jury's work and reprimand, saying the judge reviewed the report and found it to be proper to be filed and made a public document.